This is Mission Control Houston as seen in this uh, graphic display. Endeavor having now made a left hand roll to uh, position the uh, bell of the orbiter in the direction of travel to uh, begin the process of bleeding off uh, the speed that was achieved uh, during the launch of Endeavor nine days ago. And the first roll reversal uh, now underway on board software commanding Endeavour to make a left to right uh, banking maneuver as the uh, S-turns continue here to uh, reduce the speed of the vehicle. Endeavour, Houston, comm check through Myla. Roger that. Long range cameras uh, now picking up uh, Endeavour as it continues to make its approach towards uh, the Kennedy Space Center. Altitude now 112,000 feet, speed Mach 4.5 or 3,000. Or 3,000 miles per hour. Range to the landing site now 130 miles. Descent rate now 275 feet per second. Time to touchdown now just under eight minutes. Endeavour Houston, take our data. We're taking our data, thank you, sir. Air data probes uh, deployed from Endeavour are now providing the onboard computers with increased information on dynamic pressure, airspeed, and altitude. Endeavour now traveling Mach 3. Altitude 90,000 feet. Time to touch down now, just under seven minutes. Six minutes now to landing, Endeavour traveling Mach 2. Altitude about 14 statute miles.
Endeavour Houston on energy approaching the hack. New winds 0209, peak 12. You have a go for nominal shoot deploy. Copy, nominal shoot deploy. The reference to the hack being the uh, heading alignment cylinder that is the uh, imaginary cone that Commander Terry Wolcott will fly Endeavour around in order to uh, line up to runway 15. This will be a left overhead turn of about 220 degrees to allow Endeavour to line up to the uh, Florida landing site. Speed now 760 miles per hour or about Mach 1.2. Altitude about 10 statute miles. Current descent rate 184 feet. Correction, descent rate now 250 feet per second. Okay, approaching the hack. Three, two, one, there's the hack. Commander Terry Wolcott now flying Endeavour around the heading alignment cylinder as he begins the uh, process of lining up Endeavour to an approach at runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center. Time to touch down now, 2 minutes 50 seconds. Altitude 5.5 statute miles. Endeavour Houston on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Endeavour Houston on at the 90. Roger, on at the 90. Endeavour now on final approach to runway 15. Endeavour Houston on glide slope on center line. Thanks, Susan. We have the field sign. Roger, runway in sight. Endeavour is descending at an angle six times steeper than that of a commercial airliner on its final approach. Altitude now, 3,400 3, feet. Time to touch down, 40 seconds.
landing gear coming down. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The drag chute now being deployed. Nose wheel touchdown. Endeavor now rolling out on runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center at the end of a nine day, 3.6 million mile journey, bringing home astronaut Dave Wolf from his four month stay in space. Endeavor, welcome home. Congratulations on a perfect mission to Mir. And Dave, welcome back from 128 days on orbit. I wasn't counting, but is that what it was? It'll be a pleasure to see you, Susan. Thanks to everybody. This feels great. And Endeavor Houston, for the CDR, we'd like you to work on page 5 8, ammonia activation. Copy 5 8, ammonia activation. Endeavor Houston, we copy and concur, and you have a go for vent door purge positioning. This is about a one hour operation. We're in, in, in orbit processing facility Bay 1. Preparations will begin for Endeavour's next planned mission, which is STS 88. That is the first shuttle mission in support of the International Space Station. And that's scheduled for midsummer. Orbiter operations continue. The uh, entire orbiter area is being uh, in the process of being downgraded from a uh, uh, safety concern now that things have been checked out, checked out to a non-hazardous concern. And once this uh, total downgrade is uh, complete, then we can expect to see uh, the astronauts perhaps coming out and walking around as well as other visitors showing up on the runway to greet them. Uh, taking place uh, beginning about now is the inspection of the tires and brakes. Also, the uh, they will be marking the uh, wheel stop point and making measurements on the shuttle landing facility for actual rollout distances and actual distances from the threshold that the main gear touched down and that the nose gear touched down. <laughs> 